Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing uh, going over Q4 of the Weekly Contest 208. Um, yeah, as, as you can see, it was a very lucky f contest for me. Uh, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let me know how you feel uh, about this farm or whatever. Uh, so today's farm is maximum number of achievable transfer requests. So this one feels like the rest of the contest, which is noticing what, um, what the constraints are. So this one is deals with people with requests to transfer and stuff like that. I actually, to be honest, when I first read this, I thought there'll be some re some naive solution um, or greedy solution, and then I thought that maybe um, there's a uh, um, how do you say it? I think there's a max flow solution as well for maximum bipartite matching. Uh, but the key thing to notice, and th that's why this is one of the first thing I look at, is that request length is sixteen, right? Um, so why why does that matter? That means that because we are trying to optimize the number of requests, we can actually just brute force all two to the sixteen entries. Uh, meaning that okay, we try literally for each request, uh, and you can do this recursively. I did it with a bit mask, but you could literally try. Okay, now that we have this request, do we use this request? Yes, we use this request, and no, we don't use this request. So that you know, two two results for one request. Uh, or two possible uh, things to try for one request, and you have 16 of them, so it's 2 to the 16, which is, me pulling out a calculator, 65,000, right? Uh, and given the n is equal to 20, we could be a little bit lazy on that as well. So basically, that's essentially what I did. I did it in a 15-line algorithm or so. Um, so this is the bit mask for, and if you haven't seen this before, maybe I'll go over at some point uh, for in a different video, but it, it basically allows me to get the power set of the 2 to the 16 number. Uh, that's literally, you know, this is 2 to the 16, and mass goes from 0 to 2 to the 16. And then, because we have enough room, we set building is equal to 0, you know, we just look at it as a, you know, net 0 for all the buildings. We, for each one that we have, we want to, for each request we want to honor, we count the number of requests we honor, and then we just tr count literally how many people are transferring out of this building and how many people are transferred into it, right? And if at the end, if if it's zero for everybody, then that means that this this um these requests were good, right? Uh if these requests were good, then we 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 take a look to see if count will maximize it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I know that this is a very short explanation. Um the, because the tricky thing is literally you're you're trying to try all possible combinations of requests. Uh, so it, it's exhaustive. So there's not really much trickery there. The only thing to notice and practice on is noticing that request is 16 and also n is equal to 20 or less or less than 20, I guess. Uh, once you made those two things, it, it becomes a lot easier. And technically, n doesn't even have to be less than 20 because um, you could use like a lookup or something because at most there'll be 32 uh, different buildings. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, this actually end up to be one of my user problems. I did it in three, four, I did it in three minutes. Uh, a lot of people did it really quickly as well. Uh, you know, like the Alex's and stuff like that. So yeah, so yeah. Uh, let me know what you think about this problem. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and you can watch me solve this contest next. So yeah, so I submit and it was good. <laughs> Q4, uh, maximum number of achievable transfer requests. So this one, um, so this is where having experienced benefits. Um, I say this because when I saw this problem, I knew that it, it one of the two type of problems. One is max flow, um, which is maximum bipartite matching uh, or something like that, right? Uh, so some sort of max flow or bipartite matching or an MP complete problem. Uh, so I know that just from experience. Um, but what does that mean, right? That means that it's either those two or I have to look at the constraints. <laughs> uh, and when I look at the constraints, I said I saw that the number of requests is equal to 16. I knew what I wanted to do immediately, which is that I want to brute force on the number of requests. And some live commentary matter uh, uh, here is that when I refresh the page, uh, if you look up, you can see that six people have gotten it already. So to be honest, I thought, yeah, if I finish fast, I could get in the top 10 maybe. I didn't think that I would finish top one because I was like, oh, six people got it already, right? Like, you know. Um, like, I, I mean, I knew that some people do it out of order, but like, I was just like, yeah, you know, that means it shouldn't be that one, that it shouldn't be that hard, but two, I got to hurry up. Um, 
But yeah, so I, I do noticing that this is two to the sixteen. I just do it in um, in binary bit masks uh, with the power set. Uh, this is a technique that I talk about from time to time. But uh, and yeah, and this is pretty straightforward. Otherwise, uh, basically, I just count the number of incoming um, incoming building people and outgoing uh, outgoing company people. And then if it's zero, that means that, you know, the transfers are good. Uh, if it's not, then the transfers are not good, right? Uh, and we don't care about the cycles and anything like that. Uh, you, or like they, they resolve themselves at some point uh, because you can always combine cycles and stuff like that, right? Um, I know I'm hand maybe over here, but that, that's what I was thinking at the time. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm literally going to just finish typing this out. And I don't really have any more dots here. I was testing. It was good. And that's all I have. Anyway, I'll send you back to the other Larry. And... Cool. I was worried that I was going to time out, to be honest. Uh, uh, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you have about these problems. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. And it's been a very lucky contest for me, so if I'm a little too giddy, eh. Anyway, I'll see y'all next problem. Bye-bye.